guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a big dry ice bubble. The stuff that you will need is a bowl, and it, and if you want it to work really good, you want it to have a rim. You need, you need soap and some kind of fabric strip. You can also use shoelace if you need to. Oh, um, and to make the soap. If you just want a tiny bit like this, you get 12 tablespoons of water and 2 tablespoons of soap and then half a tablespoon of corn syrup. And then do to get two different colors of food dye and of course you'll need dry ice and a spoon to mix. So I already have my water in here. So I'm going to take the yellow because I already did the blue. I'm going to put it in about seven drops. Zip it. Okay. So I think that's good. I may have to do a little bit more drops. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Hold your dry ice. I have a pot holder. Just take your dry ice pop a piece. Put it in. Another big piece. Put it in. <coughs> you want me to get another piece of So now what you want to do, well right now I can see that the color is not showing in either of them. So I'm going to take my fabric strip and after it's dipped in the soap and all wet, like, oh, yeah, you want to put it in your soap before you take it out. You just want it to let it sit and get wet. So now you just want to take your fabric strip. Get all the soap off. Like that. And take it. It's that long strip. I'm going to fold it in half like that. And I'm going to start from this side, this end, and just go over. We need to do it a couple of times to get it right. Again. And there's your bubble. See how big it'll get. Gonna fall. Wow, this is huge. Okay, that was cold. Is there any color in the smoke? No. <clears throat> I thought there would be because I thought there would be because um, usually if you put dye in something, it would come out, but I guess on this, the dye went down and stuck to the, and stuck to the water, and it didn't produce and mix into the fog, so, okay. let me do that again.